Hello everybody, welcome back to a new section called Advanced Bootstrap Components where we will be taking a look at some of the advanced components that Bootstrap 4 offers that could help you a lot in replacing a lot of JavaScript or jQuery plugins that you used before. So for our first video we are going to be creating a masonry layout with Bootstrap and in this video we are going to learn what masonry layouts are how can we use Bootstrap to create masonry layouts, which component allows us to do that, and of course, how can we customize it. So to get us started, let's first understand what are masonry layouts. So a masonry layout is basically a grid of articles or items or images or content of any sorts that varies in height. So one of the most popular plugins to do this layout would be the masonry plugin by Desandro, which probably everybody who has ever done a masonry layout has used. And this plugin essentially allows you to have this very interactive layout where essentially you have various image sizes or text sizes and stuff like that that you can essentially use. So like you see right here, these layouts vary in width and height and stuff like that, but the most important and the most complex part of this was variable height. So it was previously impossible to do variable heights with pure CSS and make it everything look great and awesome. So luckily with Bootstrap 4 and the advent of Flexbox, we can actually do that without any problems and any JavaScript. So to help us with that, we're going to be utilizing the bootstrap card component, which I think is probably the most powerful component in bootstrap 4 that you can use because it does come with a lot of options out of the box and with a lot of variety that you can use. And one of those varieties is actually called card columns. So card columns is essentially a variation of the card layout. There are three card groups, decks, and columns. If we take a look at the columns, it even states that it is a masonry-like layout and it points to the plugin that I just showed you. And essentially, as you can see, we do have a lot of these variable heights right here. So for example, this one has an image and some title and text. And this one only, for example, has some text. And as you can see, nothing is breaking. So no layout is broken. Everything looks perfect and it will continue to look perfect. Again, thanks largely to Flexbox. So if we take a look, I've already created a little sample page where I'm just pulling a few images from Unsplash, as you can see. And I've added an article list in our case, which has a few variations with images like these three. Then we have some without the image. And then we have this block quote layout. And as you can see, nothing is breaking. Everything looks perfect and when we go down to a smaller size everything will still work perfect because we're actually using flexbox and by default this becomes responsive on a mobile phone so to see how we did this let's take a look at our code editor so again i created a container with a row and a column d12 so i have wrapped my cards or articles if you will in this case in the class of card columns so and inside of this we have our cards and the best thing is again you could have variable content inside this means that you could have images or not have images have large amounts of text or small amounts of text and everything will still work and the best thing is the layout will automatically adjust so each card has its own card element if we want to have an image at the top, we simply add a new image element with the class of card image top. And in this case, I'm using Unsplash to produce some random images. Then inside, we have probably the most important element of any card is card body. This is using Unsplash to produce to have. So I don't actually recommend using cards without this because it does set some padding for you. But more importantly, it keeps the content of the card in a flexbox element so that everything looks great. 
And then we have a title and some text. For our next card, for example, we have just the title and the text and again and again. So it's really, really simple to use such a powerful and complex layout that required JavaScript before with just a few lines of code. And when I say the layout will automatically adjust, again, if we, for example, you know, toggle our developer tools and take a look at what is going on, we will understand that, for example, this is actually using the CSS columns layout to have three of them. We can, of course, have four of these or just two of these. So this has nothing to do with Flexbox, but is actually using a well-known and established column layout. But then for the cards, they are actually using display inline block to make sure that everything works appropriately. And if we, for example, delete this element, the first element, you will see that everything will still look great and everything will still appear as it's supposed to.